everybody, Steve Courtney back with you again on 15 of Fame. I'm very happy to announce that we had an outstanding number of votes in response to our second segment. There was an equally amazing number of views and social media shares too. So I'd like to thank all of our viewers for watching and taking that extra time to share and cast your votes. Speaking of which, those votes have now been counted. Your results are in. And today, I'm here to reveal your next 15 of Fame fan favorite video. So, let's get right into it, shall we? Drum roll. Alright, based on your votes, the next 15 of Fame fan favorite video is... Dead Drift! Now, aside from having a hilarious web series, one fun fact about Dead Drift is that they're actually a small independent production that was produced by a group of friends with only handmade sets and costumes out of their garages. Furthermore, they had absolutely no funding for their project, which I find quite impressive. So congrats to you, Dead Drift. In addition to being our new 15 of Fame fan favorite, your video will also be receiving a spotlight feature on my Twitter page for an entire week, which I hope will generate a lot more support for your series. As an honorable mention, I'd like to congratulate our 15 of Fame runner-up from the Paranormal Shopping Network coming in at a cool second place with their Cranial Delights video. I'd also like to take this opportunity to salute each and every member of our Segment 2 crew. Y'all had amazing videos, guys. Thank you so much for submitting and being a part of the show. It was an honor to feature you. I sincerely hope that this feature helped you generate the support and recognition that you all deserve. Finally, I'd like to send a huge shout out to our 15 of Fame superfans. This amazing group of people have truly went above and beyond in their support of this channel, with multiple views, online mentions, and social media shares. So I feel that they're well deserving of some recognition for all their efforts. And here they are, in no particular order, the 15 of Fame Elite Eight. First up, we have one of my good friends, Gail, a.k.a. Pug Mom, who's a regular viewer and massive supporter of the channel, coming to us from British Columbia, Canada, and you can connect with her, too, over on Twitter, at PugMom1. Up next, we have another great friend, the foxy Miss Little Fox, who tunes into the show all the way from Germany. You can also find her tweeting away on Twitter, at MissMoonlight underscore. And at number three, we have Marie, a.k.a. the Coffee Queen, who joins us regularly from across the pond in the UK. Marie is also an avid gamer girl, and you can connect with her at mad underscore g3 on Twitter. Back for more at number four, we have our old friend Taz Hole, who's from Ontario, Canada. Some of you may remember him from his feature in our first segment, and I'm very glad to have his continued support on the channel. You can find him over on Twitter, at Tasshole. Keeping it alive, at number five, we got Digital One, who's also a fellow Canuck. Connect with him anytime on Twitter, at DGTL1, and be sure to watch for an upcoming feature video from him appearing in our next segment. In the mix at number six is Maureen Fairhurst, a.k.a. Mo, from Brooklyn, New York, USA. Mo has been a big supporter of the show right from the beginning, and I'd really like to thank her for all of her support and loyalty. Maureen can be found over on Twitter at HeyMo517. All the way up to number 7, we have Elise Johnson, a.k.a. Miss Vampy, coming to us from the heart of Margaritaville in California, USA. Connect with Elise anytime from dusk till dawn on Twitter at Elise Johnson. Finally, at number eight, it's Lachlan Smith, joining us all the way from the land down under in Melbourne, Victoria, Australia. Lachlan is also a fellow comics and Back to the Future fan, too, so if he sounds like someone you'd like to connect with, head on over to Twitter and hit him up at Take Me Like Cars. Thank you to all our 15 of Fame super fans out there. Please continue to show your support, share, and help us spread the word on this channel. You guys are awesome.
Thanks, wie geht's? So, this is the JF Sebastian. She has uh, very nice greeblies, no? But between you and me, I kind of thought she would be a bigger ship, you know? With all due respect, Commander, the JF's big enough to get the job done. Yeah, you Americans, you always say that. It's not the size that counts. It's how you use it. How you use it is what's important. Yeah? I, I have to go, Commander. Receiving a fax. What's a fax? Just the fax, sir. That boat has a fax machine? What was it, built in 1995 or something? <clears throat> I've got the new Hootie and the Blowfish on Music CD. I don't know what any of those words mean. So you're telling me the JF Sebastian has artificial gravity, a positronic dark matter drive system, a negative ion drill, and a fax machine. You're kidding. I got a fax from your wife. Ha ha. I got a fax from your mom. Seriously? She had you declared legally dead and cashed in your life insurance. I cashed in your mom's life insurance. You're legally dead. Insurance paid out a cool quarter mil. Are you an attractive woman? Don't I look like an attractive woman? I, I don't know. I, I've been out here so long, it's kind of hard to tell. You like what you see? Uh, you know, I think that I could learn to like it after a few beers. Commander Schneider assured Morris you would be sexy. What's not sexy about this? I don't know. He's got titties. Guys, I'm kidding. You can call me Hannah. Anyways, I also talked to my now ex-wife earlier about how she had me declared legally dead and cashed in my life insurance. Well, I had her legally declared <laughs> legit, notarized and everything. Captain Banks is a notary public. Hello, Captain. Permission to take control of the ship for docking. What? There is a much lower statistical likelihood of error if I pilot the ship during docking procedures. USSC safety protocol. Ah, don't lecture me on protocol. Sir? I, I just don't see how you could do it any more safely than I could. Yeah, so this is my recreation center. Plenty of fun and games. Morris to Captain Banks, we got a situation here. The ship is adrift. On screen. I forgot to engage the docking clamps. Say what? You have it guys congrats once again to our 15 of fame fan favorites dead drift also to our runner-up from the paranormal shopping network we got an all-new segment of 15 of fame currently in production it should be being uploaded very soon so please keep an eye out for that because you won't want to miss it anyway i suppose that's a wrap for today but before you all go i'd like to remind you of the three s's that subscribe share and submit so please hit that subscribe button, share my videos or channel trailer on your social media to help get the word out there, and submit your videos for my future segments. Until next time, y'all can hit me up anytime over on Twitter. I'm at SteveCourtney79. Cheers, guys, and thanks for watching.